Hello, Good Shepherd and Saints, Francis and John. I'm Father Lin Nguyen, pastor of Saints, Francis and John. And this week we prepare for the gospel message for Pentecost Sunday. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me, and you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Friends, today we celebrate the birth of our Catholic Church. Jesus said, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of Truth, he will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and will declare to you the things that are coming. How true it is with this statement from Jesus. Friends, let us look at the life of the Church for 2,000 years of all the transformation of the church in her ministries throughout the whole world. All beautiful witnesses through saintly lives and the crimson blood of martyrdom. Think of the sound doctrines developed that anchors the voice of moral and ethical values within our society. Think of all the developments that contributed to the improvement of our society like education, healthcare, medical discoveries, science, and much more. These things did not come up on it their own, but they were discovered by individuals who profited through the church mission. For example, think of the Big Bang Theory which is a very popular theory of science that explains the formulation of the universal cosmic. It was discovered by a priest. Think of the rise and fall of all the great empires. And our mother church is still standing, witnessing to the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. The church has faced so many tyrannies, but her radiant spirit of truth is still shining bright in the power of Christ's salvific love. I don't think the first apostle could ever have imagined that they were here right now to see the significant and the magnitude strengthen that the Holy Spirit has transformed the life of the church, considering what Jesus told them about the Spirit of Truth at the first Pentecost. For every one of us on this Pentecost, let us take a moment and reflect upon this beautiful truth in our life of faith. Think of the gift of faith that we have. Think of the families of ours. Think of our own community parish. Do you think all these things have just happened? Or it is truly the gift of the Spirit that is given to us all the unifying gift of love in Christ that manifests the glorious beauty of the Father in the Jesus Christ through the working of the Holy Spirit. And here is a family activity. With your family, talk about the things in each of your lives that keep you from living in Jesus. Do you offer for golfing, shopping, or video gaming over Jesus? Perhaps make a list of the things you love to do. How much time do you spend each week doing those things? Was your faith 
on the list? How much time do you spend in prayer, in serving others, going to Mass? How can you better use of your time to profit the faith? God bless and see you at Mass.